we got our seats in. <laughs> Hey, Food Foresters, Amy here. Um, beautiful day outside. We finally got rid of the cold weather. We've had three days of just oh, bone chilling, freezing temperatures for us Floridians. <laughs> it was pretty bad. We had to cover the plants. You'll see I got like behind me here. Um, blankets out because I uncovered the plants this morning and I'm letting the towels and the blankets dry out. Um, so that way I can put them up into back into our storage unit for later. But I wanted to go through. I finally got our packet of seeds. Now, I want to let you know I am not being sponsored by this. Um, I don't have any type of uh, affiliate uh, link or anything like that um, with this particular company. But I did order from Mary's Heirloom Seeds. They're out in California. Um, I found that the seeds that I wanted to get were out of stock in the normal places like uh you know like other big stores you know um you know i didn't want to go to walmart because even though the seeds do work i wanted something a little bit better uh, baker creek was out of the ones i really wanted um and and my gardener was kind of running low on some of the ones i wanted so i went ahead and i took advice from Josh over at the City Stead and Rose from Wholesome Roots and got onto Mary Heirloom uh, Seeds. Now, before I show you my seeds, I wanted to let you know that I actually was very, very happy. I got everything except for the Stevia seeds. I've been wanting to grow Stevia uh, because Donald's sugar is high and we need to do better neighbors running on a motorcycle <laughs> but with this packet um mary sent uh the company sent like a a sheet of what to expect on the different seeds and they also sent a checklist of everything i ordered and they checked off everything here so i was very happy with that and I also got some bonus seeds from her. So I'm like, yay, bonus seeds are always good. So I'm gonna go over. These are the seeds that we're gonna be trying to grow this year. Um, I have the, now, before I start naming off these seeds, my pronunciations aren't always correct. So I do apologize if I mispronunciate wrong, but I'm gonna do my best and I'll show you each one here as soon as the neighbor goes by. <laughs> I, 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 it's country ATVs <laughs> okay the first one is the crimson giant radish we're going to be trying to grow this one I have the strawberry spinach which I'm actually kind of excited about this because you can actually eat the flowers too uh Saint Valerie Carrot. And because we kind of lost a lot of our herbs this past year, uh, time. I'm going to try spearmint. I love spearmint. I also love mint. The mint has gone crazy around here. It works really, really well. Um, rosemary. Sage. Geneva's bale or basil. And this one is called the Flora Day Tomato. Now this one, I found out that they actually are in Dade City, Florida, which is only 10 minutes south of me. Um, so I'm very excited. These tomatoes were specially uh, cultivated to grow here with the Florida heat and the um, uh, the the drought situation that we have. Well, sometimes we get. My property, pff, I flood all the time. I don't have any issues with water. Um, Martino's Roma tomato. Hungarian heart tomato. 
uh, the regular Roma tomato. Amish paste tomato. Japanese truffle black tomato. I got this for Donald. This is a ancho pobleo pepper. <laughs> I'm sorry if I butcher that name. <laughs> the chocolate baby bell. Now this is um, in the same lines as the uh, red and green and yellow bell tomatoes. Now I've never, we've never really grown uh, bells here, bell peppers here, I should say, not tomatoes, bell peppers. Um, only because peppers really give me heartburn bad. But I was told this might not actually give me heartburn because it's a chocolate sweet flavor. So I'm willing to grow it to try it and see if we like it. Plus, you know, what lady doesn't like chocolate? Hello. <laughs> um, this is the Florida High Market eggplant and we also got the florida high bush eggplant now these two here are specially designed and bred and cultivated uh for the florida heat and drought so that's why we got these instead of the normal black beauties and and other ones um we try to find the plants that actually grow really good for the we're in zone nine now this one I'm excited about. I got the Detroit Dark Red Beet and I love pickled beets. So I'm really hoping that I can grow these and actually make my own pickled beets because I will be tickle pink if I could do this. I also fell in love with the toothache plant and this <laughs> funny story, Donald was tricked into biting off the whole entire flower part of this plant and it made it makes your mouth go numb and he started drooling it was funny it was so funny it lasted like 15 20 minutes he was just like <laughs> but this particular toothache plant is really good for people that have like uh, maybe sensitive teeth or if you have a toothache or your gums are hurting you take just a little bit take a pinch of the uh the uh stems you put it in between your gum and your cheek and it actually is an anesthetic so it numbs your gums and it helps relieve the pain now it is an herbal remedy so it's not something that's going to last for hours but if it's something that it's enough to you know numb the pain a little bit so you can get to the dentist's office power to you and it's a really pretty plant too and it's a pollinator so i'm all for that and then i also got save the bee flower mix so this i'll be sprinkling pretty much everywhere maybe in between the crops so that way we can um, bring the bees in a little bit more and provide more for them and then the last one uh, that I got free from Mary's is the free bee seed forage. Um, not sure. I'll, I'm actually going to have to look that one up. I don't know what type of flowers are in that one, but it's still, it, if I can plant flowers and have the bees around here, it's great. And another thing too, with Mary's, I got all these within two weeks. Um, so I was very happy. I was, everything was in stock. I didn't have to worry about, you know, waiting on anything. Um, another thing I liked too is the prices were really good. Uh, about $2.50 a pack. And it's basic. I, I don't need nothing fancy. I don't, I mean, I really do appreciate the pictures on seed packets, you know, showing you what they are. The pretty pictures. I do love that. I really do. But, you know me and my family we are on a budget you know donald is the only one bringing in an income so i have to be wise with my money and so something like this where i can get them at a decent price and get them all all these seeds um was really helpful um i took part of uh, one of the stimulus checks after i paid off a couple of extra bills i had some money left over 
all in all, this, I used a little bit of leftover money to buy the seeds that I wanted this year. And like I said, the only one I didn't get was a stevia. Uh, I'm still looking for that, either the plant or the actual seeds. You know, I can do either one. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned because I am really, really hoping 2021 is going to be a lot better this year. All right, we'll see you on the next one, guys. And comment below if you have a favorite uh, vegetable, fruit, or um, any type of seed that you want or flower that you love growing and you always grow it every year. Tell me in the comments below. I'll see ya.